coming up on tonight's Fem Fest. Now settle down, you lot, or it's complete loss of privileges and solitary confinement for a week. Women behind bars, why they've got such a captive audience on TV and at the box office. From the hardcore drama of Cage Teeth to Prisoner Cell Block H, the idea of women in prison is a hit with both male and female audiences. But does this appeal line, recurring themes like sisterhood and adversity and the brutal realities of survival inside the system, or perhaps just in the potential for some hot lesbo action in the shower blocks, <laughs> the girly show's been doing time finding out. For 30 years, the woman behind bars genre has enjoyed enormous popularity, from the Hollywood classic Caged Heat to the kitsch 80 soap Prisoner Cell Block 8. Even Brookside's rating soared when Beth Jordash was banged up. So tonight, we unlock the secret appeal of bad girls behind bars and find out what it's like to face the freak. I was asked to play a sadistic, corrupt bull dyke screw and I did it to the best of my ability. <laughs> I didn't do it. I was framed. You've got no right to keep me here. The hit 70s TV drama Within These Walls established a trend in the UK towards serious prison drama. Psychologist and ex-con John McVicker argues that the plight of women deprived of their freedom has a particular appeal. There are these undertones of repressed sexuality and of course they can play much more the emotional side uh, with lost children and lost husbands so it's all sort of intensity of emotion there's an endless fund of stories isn't there i mean while ever people break the law and while ever people are incarcerated and it's been that way for hundreds and hundreds of years there will always be stories and if the storylines at wentworth seem a little corny the fans love it all the more wooden dialogue and bad acting is a huge ratings puller what's the plan b we're all going to get together and bash the hell out of it? Oh, we'll have to. It's the only way of beating the bitch. Maybe, maybe not. People get off on kind of analysing how bad it is. and I mean, people have a joint and then sit down and watch it and then laugh hysterically and feel superior for it. it you know, it's over-the-top emotionalism. It's, it's Shirley Bassey in prison. However camp we might think it or whatever, I think it is that voyeuristic thing of, thank God that's not me. But if wobbly sets and camp acting don't thrill you, what about this? Bear Behind Bars is just one of hundreds of sexploitation movies imported by Nigel Wingrove of Redemption Films, who reckons that Prisoner of Cell Block H isn't all that different. Prisoner of Cell Block H has all the elements of, a, of an exploitation women in prison film, but they're more extreme. They're sexual, they're exploitational, they're fairly badly acted. The, the, the sleaze quote is very high in these. We've got like, everything from sweaty delivery men to um, lesbian scenes to sex to, to cat fights, shower scenes. I mean, everything's all bunged in, so it's very high on the sleaze scale, if you like. Ten days without seeing breasts and legs, girls in the nude. Or can't you do without seeing that for a while? However, Punishment, a male prison drama featuring the hammy acting of Mel Gibson, couldn't begin to emulate the success of its female counterparts. Genuinely, the attraction when you have women, it's much more emotionally focused. Some enjoy the seeing women, you know, bound up or subjugated. Some enjoy the, 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 the fights. Maybe people are into bad girls because bad girls have more fun. Here to tell all is Cell Block H fan and former inmate of Style, Holloway, Drake Hall and Cockenwood, Jessica Wilcox. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show.